again. New day, new possibilities. Today I am at Saltwick Bay and uh, we're gonna try and look for some more ammonites. And now uh, let's see what else turns up today. It's a uh, little bit of a walk to get down to the beach. I'm here pretty early in the morning so oh well it's uh, around 9, 9.30 and uh, the tide is uh, going out so uh, yeah I'm on my way down let's see what we can uh, find today so uh, here we have it first uh, stretch of the beach, beach. Uh, yeah I'm uh, going down the uh, path. It seems like the tide is quite high actually still so uh, maybe I'll just need to uh, wait around here for a bit before I can reach the, the uh, layers that I'm interested in. But uh, well it's uh, kind of a half rainy half nice morning. Uh, it was uh, quite heavy raining this this um, last night so uh, perhaps that's done some uh, work uh, making material come come out of the cliff a little bit let's at least hope for that well I'm uh, gonna head on here down the path and uh, well I'll get back to you when I get down to the beach. So it seems I have uh, been a little bit early. So uh, the tide is still on its way on its way out, so I can't get around the parts when I would like. But I'm looking around in uh, the boulder field that's been exposed here while since I came to the beach. Just uh, walking along here. And uh, hoping I can find at least something. And there is, yeah, there's actually an ammonite showing right now. Can you see it? It's in the very bottom of the of the frame. It's a really, really sea-worn ammonite, but it's still an ammonite. Yeah. Well. There is a, uh, a keel poking out here as well. Looks to be a duck. And um, yeah, it's not very nice from this side, but the center is there anyway. So maybe I could uh, prep this from the other side and still get a pretty nice example. And uh, for all of you that doesn't know, uh, what an ammonite is, it's actually a, uh, an octopus or a squid in a coiled shell. So the, uh, the animal was living in the outer chambers and, all, uh, and when it grew uh, it just builds on like this. So uh, it started from the middle and then it, when the animal grows and gets bigger they make new chambers and then they get this coiled nice beautiful piece of shell. That is preserved in uh, kind of a gray uh, uh, nodule, uh, limestone nodule. Well, this is a nice find, uh, first nice find of the day. So uh, yeah, I'll keep this one. Thank you. Just found a uh, nodule. Today uh, was a piece of an ammonite showing on the uh, outside. Just a small small piece and I split this one and uh, yeah lo and behold <laughs> tiny but very nice and right inside so uh, maybe this is a an elegant elegant isaurus or a, some kind of pseudo well I'll leave that to the experts <laughs> I'm not definitely not an ammonite expert but it's still a nice it's a uh, pyritized pyritized ammonite so uh, nice shine on it as well. Let's see if we can get this one a little bit wet. So it's actually more easy to see the shine. You can also see the, the suture lines that are showing inside here. That's 
lovely. Thank you. Nice find. Nice waterfall. That's a lovely day out. Seems to be a nice day after all. Was a little bit of rain this morning. Now it's really, really nice. A bit windy, but uh, yeah, so far so good. I can take, a, I can look at those views all day long. It's just fantastic. So much history in the cliffs. Wherever you go, there is history everywhere. Oh, well, let's move on. So I've reached another part of the uh, of the beach now. And I'm, uh, yeah, looking around in this rubble field here. And I've just uh, met with uh, Mark Kemp, the Joshua Fossil Hunter as well. <laughs> nice to say hello to him. Been following his uh, channel for a while and uh, yeah, he's out with some, one of his fossil walks today, so uh, yeah, I think it's the right place I picked after all. <laughs> if they're coming here, maybe there should be some goodies left for me as well. You never know. Well, let's keep on uh, looking for fossils. So I've uh, got around the corner here and uh, there is a nice little bay here and a nice waterfall as well. I'm gonna check that out. Haven't found anything yet, but uh, there is an outcrop in the cliff right here, so uh, there could possibly be some uh, fresh, nod fresh nodules that's falling out, fallen out since the rain and uh, also the tide. So let's take a look at the beach here and see if we can find anything. Cool waterfall. Yeah, lovely. And the sun is, is all fully out now, so uh, it's also very nice and warm weather. Doesn't, doesn't seem to be too much of material laying here. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll look around here for a little bit more and then uh, I'll get back to you if I find something of interest. Well, the, uh, the tide is still too high, so I can't go any, any further at the moment. And, uh, yeah, that's kind of a, kind of a shame. I'll, uh, either I'll have to go back to the beach and then around the other side. We found a uh, pretty nice piece of uh, pretty nice piece of uh, shale with some beautiful shell imprints in it. These shells are all preserved in pyrite, so uh, they have kind of a, a golden golden look to them. And I think it's 
kind of a beautiful plate so I think I'll keep this one try to preserve it when I get home and, uh, yeah kind of a cool piece anyway so uh, happy days I think <laughs> yeah look at those beautiful so I've uh, managed to get uh, a little further south and I uh, haven't found much and here is the one of the famous holes where they were quarrying for alum shale in the past. Pretty big one. And uh, yeah, I'm going south down this bowl field here. And uh, I haven't seen much yet as uh, far as ammonites, considering ammonites and other fossils, but just bits and pieces, nothing complete, fortunately. But I'll keep heading on a bit more and then, uh, yeah, let's see what turns up. Just came up to a uh, bit of a cliff fall. And uh, yeah, there's been a few, a few here before me tapping some rocks, but uh, I found a nodule that I was uh, banging on. And then I found a uh, very nice ammonite inside. It's pyrotized. It's like a uh, nice golden hue to it. And uh, it seems to be a Perinoceros. Um, you can see some, uh, some spines here on the, on the keel. And I'll, well, it didn't uh, actually crack exactly how, what I, how I'd hoped, but uh, I'll try and, uh, and glue this back. Uh, and then I'll uh, prep it from the other side and then it should be a, a nice ammonite. I ho hopefully it won't be a nightmare to prep but I'll, uh, I'll have a go at it and see uh, how it turns out. So, happy days! Well, I've collected a few more nodules so let's see if there is anything inside these. I uh, believe there is an ammonite in here so uh, I guess I will. Uh, I'll keep this and uh, try and prep it instead of just hitting it, because then uh, there's a big chance I'll just trash it. So uh, yeah, you can see the keel here, and uh, I'll take this home and prep it instead. So um, yeah, good find. Seems to be a duck. And then we have a very sea-worn ammonite. I'll just try and get the top off here and see if there is anything inside. Perhaps there is a nice center still. And then we have some uh, smaller nodules. There is a, well, there is a chance there could be an ammonite inside one of these. So uh, I'll have a go and, uh, and see if there is anything inside any of them. So um, yeah, I'll get to, back to you soon when I crack them. Well, there wasn't, uh, wasn't anything in those. Not jewels, but I just picked up another one, and uh, yeah, there is a uh, lovely, lovely duck inside this one. Seems to be a little bit, a little bit squashed, but uh, yeah, and there is also a, uh, there's also a shell on top of of this ammonite, which is quite nice. So uh, I'll try and uh, leave this here and prep around the ammonite itself to reveal it a little bit more. Hopefully it should be a nice and complete specimen with a extra shell on top. So, <laughs> so that's nice. Happy days! Just found uh, a couple of more. Uh, a lovely Dactylocerus just laying there on the ground like that. And uh, I also found this one. It just seems to be a yeah, it's an almost almost complete Hildosaurus ammonite. It's a little bit missing of the keel over here, but this is my first proper Hildi, so uh, yeah, I'm very very happy with this one. It should perhaps clean up nicely. So uh, yeah, happy days. Yeah, I'm uh, heading back towards the car now. 
I uh, was thinking about rounding the other edge over there, but on the far edge, I was there before when the tide was too high, but I'm not certain I, uh, I am up for that. I'm pretty tired and my, uh, yeah, my bag is pretty heavy, so uh, I'll get back and uh, probably head back to the car now. So now I'm back at the car. Uh, these are these are the finds of today from uh, Salt Creek Bay. And now we have a, an arrange of them rights. Then wash this Hildosaurus off a little bit. It's uh, quite a nice ammonite. Need some cleaning of course. But uh, yeah, pretty happy with this one. Then we have the uh, prioritized deck. We also have a pretty nice shell that I picked up, still inside this rock, so I'm gonna try and prep this one and see if I can, if I can get it out. Seems to be a pretty big shell, so uh, yeah, kind of cool. And then uh, the stack, it should be all in there, pretty nice one actually. The uh, pseudoleosaurus or whatever it's called. <laughs> this is a small, small piece that I picked up when I arrived this morning. And uh, yeah, so, uh, a couple of shells sitting in a piece of matrix. That I'm gonna try and try and prep and get some uh, beeswax or something on. And, uh, should be a uh, Pretty nice little piece as well. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with today. There are a few bits and pieces more. There's a light inside here as well. Try and prep that one. And then uh, there's a small, small deck here with a nice center. Pretty water one example, but very nice middle. So it's worth keeping anyway. Yeah. I'm happy with this, I'm quite done for the day, so uh, yeah, see you on the next.